I rub in with oxydry. And there's the big fearsome guard dog that <laughs> was at the gate over there when I came in. He was a easy going guy though. He let me in. <laughs> Customer wasn't here. She just arrived a few minutes ago. I just vacuumed everything. I've been here a number of times. They've been here about six years. I cleaned first time I saw this carpet and the one I'm about and the one over there. Oh, it was uh, unbelievably badly stained up. In fact, I really wondered if I was going to be able to get it clean, but I did. And I've been cleaning it well every year since. And um, interestingly, the lady I'm cleaning for here, <clears throat> I've been cleaning for her mother for quite a number of years before this. So uh, this is a. She's the daughter of a customer I've been cleaning for for probably 15 years. And now I've been cleaning for her for years. So uh, it's kind of interesting. And she's got a couple of kids, I guess. And so I'm doing the next generation. How about that, eh? Um, so, so the first time I cleaned this, this, this carpet and the other one, the other bedroom, I mean, it was, the stains on here were just horrendous. And I remember that I, uh, I mixed up um, radical rinse. Cleaned it with that. Now, what I have in the tank today, um, uh, and by the way, the stains are no, 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 nowhere near, they're really not that bad today. But I do have um, a little stronger mix of Nano Max in here, about three ounces per gallon. And it's actually boosted with um, uh, Oxyol from the previous job I just did. Still, I've got about a gallon or so in there, so. Now, there are some pink stains on here that apparently uh, she was renting out this room and the uh, girl that was in here was dyeing her hair pink. So we have pink stains on here. If this is hair dye, it is permanent. Hair dye is a type of a coloring that uh, can make permanent uh, coloration on the carpet. It's a different type of dye. We can deal with acid-based dyes, but dispersed dyes, not so much. But, we'll see. I don't have a lot of hope for it, but uh, this carpet really should have been thrown out a long time ago, and yet I managed to bring it back from the brink a few times. I've got these two rooms and then uh, four area rugs as well. And a couple of the area rugs are in tremendously bad shape. I mean, they really... Well, they're terrible. I won't be showing them, but... Really polyester and they're in terrible shape but anyway this pink actually does look like it might be doing a little bit better I've got a hog's hair fiber pad on there And this is again where I find the rotary really excels is when I have a really bad stain because it's doing a continuous motion not moving back and forth like an orbital I find that it just works better at getting out stains especially when there are stains like this because I can just kind of slow the machine down and then I'm doing a continual motion in one direction which I think is more effective at pulling the stain off the fiber. That's what I find anyway. And I can come at it from a, you know, a few different directions, 360 degrees usually. It just works.
Looks like the doggy finished his supper there. Is it really nice? He must be a Belgian cross with something, something big. <laughs> He's a beautiful guy. So it does look like these stains are coming out okay. They're here, and there was another one over here. There's some color removed stains here. Well, obviously, I can't fix that when the color's gone. It's gone for good. So let's go over to the next room. And then we'll take a look over there. This room isn't as bad as the other one. But again, I remember the first, first, first and or second time that I came here, th there were just horrendous stains in here. This is kind of a a really nice spot here. It's actually quite close to Kelowna, yeah, it's actually in the wilderness. Like 10 minutes down a, a long windy road from a main street in Kelowna and then you're, I mean, you're literally in the in the bush. It's really quite cool. I wouldn't mind a house out here. Her, uh, when they arrived here a few minutes ago, her and her mom got out of the vehicle, and her mom, uh, whom I haven't seen for a few years, I guess, uh, she immediately noticed my beard, because she's never seen me with a beard before. So I let her know, well, I can't, can't grow it on top of the head, I might as well grow it on the bottom. Been cleaning her carpets for probably 15 years, I guess. You know, this carpet's actually in remarkably good shape. I mean, I'm telling you, if you saw this carpet the first time I saw it, you'd be just astonished at the difference. More pink there. Got her in the cleaning mode now. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay. to the Iron Man over here. <clears throat> oh, lots of crap coming up under that tab. Again, I'm able to get right along the edge there. No problem at all. There are a couple of marks on here that, they're not really obvious, but uh, a couple of marks that I was never able to get out fully, and they're still there. Looks like they've actually distorted the pile somehow, whatever it is. <laughs> <coughs> Brightening up though. You know, I actually did manage to get that pink to fade out a fair amount. It's definitely not as obvious. Let's go over here. stain there. That will be a permanent one, I guess.
what a glare coming off the carpet now makes it harder to see. whenever I need to I can do any detailing by hand with a doodle bug if I can't the machine won't fit in there it's not a problem Actually, 27 degrees out there today. That's uh, Celsius, of course. All right, so I guess I'll let you go. We'll take a look at the pad first, though. Oiled, which is not surprising because I've been cleaning it on a regular basis. Other than the staining, it's actually not really that soiled. Anyway, I'll let you go. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.